guys, today's reformer workout is going to be a combination of strength and stretching. I am going to start with my box on. If you don't have a box, it's okay. You can just put your hands on the reformer. And I have on one single blue spring. So you're going to stand in front of your reformer. My foot bar is all the way down. You're going to put your hands on the box. Bend the knees slightly. We're just going to do a little cat cow type of stretch. You're going to press the box out as long as you can. Try to lengthen through the back. Lift the tailbone up to the ceiling, almost like downward dog. Let the head relax. Feel the stretch in the shoulders as well as the back. And exhale, round through the belly. Pull the hair in slow. Press back out. Lengthening through the back. Arms. You want to keep even weight on your feet and heels. And then exhale, round through the belly, rounding the spine, pulling the hair in. Two more here. Exhale, lengthen. Scoop the belly. And exhale, press out. And two more here. One more, press it all the way out and hold it. I'm going to take my left hand, reach it across my right. Try to pull, lean into that left side, feel the stretch down the left lat and left side of the body. And then release, put the left hand back on the side of the box. Take the right hand, reach it across the left hand. Lean into that right side so you feel a stretch down the right side, lat, shoulder. Come back to center and come all the way in. Now, we're going to start. Bend your knees. Bend those elbows. I'm going to take my left hand off. Put it behind your back. Flat back. You're just going to single arm press out. My knees are up against the shoulder rest, so I have something to lean into. Press out and pull in. Narrow elbow. Flat back. Keep those abs pulled in. Try to get that full extension of the right arm. Ten more here. Exhale, press three. Feel the back of the right arm as well as the shoulder. Four, five, six, seven, last three, eight, nine, last one. Press it all the way out. Come in halfway and hold it. Little tiny pulses. Up two inches and down for ten. Nine, slow. Feel the back of the arms. Eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, last one, press it all the way out, come all the way in, stand up for a second, take that right arm, reach it up and over the head, feel a stretch in the triceps, also give your back a little breather, and then release, come back to the box, bend those knees, have the knees up against the shoulder, or the foot bar, Left hand is on the box, right hand behind the back. Press the left arm all the way out and in. So the only thing that is really moving is the arm. You're not leaning the body forward to help push. Get that full extension, straighten that left arm, pull it in slow. Five, Eyes looking towards the floor. We have ten more here. Last four. And three. For two. Last one, press it all the way out, pull it halfway in and hold it. Little pulses, up two inches, down for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two. Last one, press it all the way out. Go all the way in. Stand up tall, take the left hand, reach them up and over, feel the stretch in the triceps. Okay, we're gonna come back down to the blocks. Both arms are on. Bend those knees slightly, lean that chest forward. Palms are on the front edge of the box. Head neutral. You're going to push that carriage out and then pull it in slow. Two, three. If this feels too heavy, you can always drop it down to one white or one yellow. Try to resist that carriage in so it's not hitting a stopper as it comes in. We have 10. stretch. You're going to put your left foot on top of the box. If this is too high for the back of your legs and your flexibility, then I'm going to say take the box up and put your foot on the reformer. You're going to put your hands onto the box. And we're just going to straighten that um, left leg out and then bend that left leg in and straighten out. Try to get a little deeper stretch, bending that chest forward and pull in. Good, two more like this. One more, you're gonna press it all the way out, keep that leg straight. Now we're gonna lean that carriage forward, hold it there, lean that chest forward, left leg is straight, try to square off the hips. And just hold that stretch for five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and one. Pull it all the way in. And you're going to put your right foot onto the box, hands on the box as well. You're just going to straighten that right leg out, hold it, lean the chest forward, and then bend that right leg in, press out. See so if you can get a little deeper stretch each time you straighten that leg, and the back of that right hamstring, as well as the calf. Two more here. One, press it out straight. Keep the legs straight, lean forward a little bit more. Take a few breaths. We're gonna hold it, square off the hips. Keep feeling a stretch in the back of that right leg. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Pull that carriage all the way in. Okay, I'm gonna keep one blue spring still on. If you wanna go a little bit heavier, go for a blue and white. We're going to do pulling straps, so grab your straps. We're going to lay down onto your belly. So the key for this one, so you don't feel it in your back, is to keep those abs in as much as possible, pressing those hips down. So I'm going to put my hands actually through the straps and grab up where the metal hooks are, just for them on one blue spring so it's a little bit lighter. Arms are long. By the side of the former head is neutral. You're going to have the hands glide along your side. Lift the head and chest up. Keep those eyes towards the floor. Squeeze the upper back and shoulders. And then glide the hands back down. Lower the head and chest. Inhale, exhale, glide. Lift up. Keep those abs tight as you lift. And then slowly lower down. This is another great exercise for posture. Pulling the shoulders back. Squeezing the back muscles. And inhale. Exhale, lift. You want to make sure those arms are straight, so you're using the back of the arms, the triceps, the shoulders. We're going to do five more here.
last three. Two. Last one, we're gonna press it all the way back and hold it, arms straight. You're gonna go down an inch and up an inch, straight arms for 10. Eyes looking to the floor, nine. Eight, pull the belly button in, squeeze those abs, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Just let the head drop for a second, just take a little breather. Okay, we're going to go into a little triceps. Keep those abs tight. Sweep those arms straight back behind you. Hold it there. Eyes looking towards the floor. Bend those elbows. Exhale, press all the way back to squeeze. Just want to get that full extension. Straighten those arms at the back. Pull those abs in to protect the back. Exhale, press. We have five more here. Get that full extension. Squeeze the back of the arms for five. All the way up to four. Three. For two. Last one. Press it all the way back. Hold it. Five, four, hold three, two, and one. Just let's hang up those straps. I'm going to step off to the side and then get back on top of the box and do a little child's pose. Reach those hands out in front of you. Ground through that spine. Stretch the shoulders. And then roll on up. I'm going to grab the right strap. We're going to go into a little bit of glute work. We won't be here long. I'm going to grab the strap it on the arch of my right foot. If you don't like doing it on the box or you don't have a box, you can take off the box and go kneeling onto the reformer. So you want to scoot yourself back towards the back of the box and then your right foot is going to be long to the outside of the reformer. My hands are wide onto the box, straight right leg. You're going to sweep that leg up and then sweep it back down. So I'm still on one glue spring. If you feel like this is too light, go for a blue and a white, or you can go for a red. Straight leg, lift up, hold that squeeze, and then lower down. Only lift as high as you can without arching that back. You want to keep those abs tight. Use that hamstring and glute to lift. Try not to sink in that left hip. You don't lean too much to the left. We're going to do five more here. Two. Last one, we're going to hold it back there as high as you can. Abs tight, hold that squeeze straight like 10, 9, 8, 7, hold it 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You're going to bend that knee in. I'm going to bring my hand to the outside of the rope and scoot a little bit more to the left. So now we're going to bend and extend. Take the right leg, you're going to kick it all the way back. Straight leg and then bend it back in, just so it's in line with that other knee. So you're kicking out and up, so straight back and a little bit up. You're not leaning into that left hip. Abs are tight, try to relax the shoulders down the back. Exhale, press, reach.
You have five more here. You can always take a breather. It's getting too intense. Keep those abs tight. We have four. Press out and reach for three. Two. Last one, you're gonna press it all the way up again and hold it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take your foot out of that strap. And I'm gonna have a seat on the block. I'm just gonna let my legs dangle out in front of you. You can also keep the feet up like this. We're crossing, we're gonna go into a little rotation. So still, one single blue spring. If you feel like you're pulling too much with the shoulders, go down to a white or a yellow, depending on your machine, or heavier when red. And then interlace both hands onto that rope. Sitting up tall, even weight on the sit bones. Exhale, rotate towards the foot bar, and then slowly back. Try to use those abs and spinal rotation to control. You want the eyes or head to follow those arms. Exhale as you rotate, and as you exhale, suck the belly button in. Slow and control on the way back. We have five more here. Last one, you're gonna hold it all the way over to the right side, hold it. Little pulses, twist deeper for 10, nine, go slow, pull those abs in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come on back. We're gonna drop that strap down into the well, and then we're gonna hop back onto the box for the other side of leg work. All right, I'm gonna stand up and walk around to the other side. Reach down and grab that strap. Come on to the box so you're on all fours or if you did it without the box, that's fine. I'm gonna grab that left handle, put it on the arch of my left foot. You're gonna scoot your right knee back towards the very back edge of the box. Hands are wide on the box, left leg is straight to the outside of the reformer. Straight leg, you're gonna sweep it back up and then sweep it straight back down. Exhale, press back, squeeze that glute. Again, only go as high as you can without arching that back. And have even weight on both hands. You have five more here. Make sure that leg is straight. You're using that left hamstring and glute to lift. Last two here. Last one, we're gonna press it all the way up and hold it up there. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. You're gonna bring that left hand to the outside of the strap, bending that left knee. You're gonna keep that left leg straight back and up and in. Get that full extension. And then bend that knee back down to the right hip, the right knee. Your 
pressing out and up. If the rope is kind of bothering you, you can adjust your hand based on what's comfortable for you or move the box over. We have five more here. Four. Three. Pressing out and up. Two. Last one, you're gonna press out, hold it, keep that leg straight, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Take that strap off. We're gonna sit down on the box, facing the back. Again, my legs are slightly wider, or you can sit with your feet on the reformer. Grab the strap with both hands sitting up tall, even weight on the sit bone. Exhale, rotate towards the left, and slowly back to center. Pull those abs and obliques in. Control it back. As you exhale, pull those abs in deeper. Have the eyes and head follow the wrist. Exhale as we rotate. We have five more here. Last two, then we're going to hold it to the left. Last one, hold it. Little pulses, slow for ten. Pull those abs in. Nine. Even weight on both sit bones. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it back. Drop that strap down into the well. I'm going to hop off of the box and I'm going to put it on short ways. Put it in front of the shoulder rest because we're going to have our foot up against here or knee up against here. So I don't want the box kind of going over the well. I still have on one single loose frame. If you feel like this is too heavy, um, go down to a white or a yellow, or if you need support, do a blue and white or a red. Okay, I'm gonna stand on the floor with my right leg just in line with the edge of the foot bar, but have the leg out a little bit. You're gonna turn the foot out so it's slight external rotation. You're gonna take that left knee and shin, hold that whole left leg, and place it up against the block. So keeping that turn out of the right leg, Hands on the hips for now. You're just going to press the carriage out, keeping this right leg straight, getting a little stretch in the inner thigh and hip, and then zip up through the inner thigh, pulling the carriage all the way in. So straight right leg goes out, the body kind of shifts, and then zip up and in. So it kind of feels similar to when you're standing on your form in the platform and doing um, like side splits, going out slow and then zip up through those inner thighs, all the way in, feel those inner thighs, and lengthen through that spine. Press out, and then up. Again, try to feel a little stretch in the hips, in the inner thighs. As you come in, lengthen the crown of the head to the ceiling, spine tall. Can't go out so far, that's fine. Do what feels good for your legs, your body. We have five more here. You kind of squeeze those inner thighs together. Two, one more, and come 
all the way in. We're gonna bring those arms out to the side like a hug a tree motion. You're gonna bring those hands together as you bend that leg and then bring it back up. So now we're bending the right leg as that left leg goes out to the side and then come up. So again, feel a little stretch in that inner thigh and then use that right quad to stand up. Go slow, try not to use the momentum of the springs to help you stand up. Lifted. We have five more here. And four. And last three. Two. Last one. We're going to hold it low. Bring those arms behind the head. You're just going to do a little torso twist towards the foot bar for ten. Nine, try to stabilize the carriage. Isometrically working that way, like eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to add on, hold it. We're going to twist towards the foot bar, pull the carriage in, and go back to center or straight forward as you bend down. So twist towards the foot bar, stand up. And then back out. So working on spinal rotation. My rotation movement is not so great. Exhale, lift up, twist. Try to keep those elbows wide. Let's do five more here. the other side. So this time my left leg is on the floor in line with the foot bar, like the bottom edge of the foot bar, but make sure the foot's out a little bit. Right leg goes up against the box. So we're keeping that left leg straight for now. Keep that left turn out. Press the carriage out. It's almost like side splits. And then zip up through those inner thighs. Pull the carriage all the way in. So for this one, your body Goes along with the carriage and exhale, zip up and in. You can shorten the range of motion if that feels better for you. Lengthen with that leg. Zip up through the crown of the head, that spine, as you pull the carriage in. Slow and control. You have five more here. Squeeze those inner thighs, pull it all the way, all the way in. And four. Three. Two. Last one, we're gonna pull it all the way in. Bring those arms out to the side. Now we're going to bend that left knee. So bend, bring those hands out in front of you, and then bring it back out. Little plie with that left leg. Get a stretch in those inner thighs as well as the core or working those quads. Make sure you stand all the way up out of that left leg. This 
one, you don't move the body as much. You're more bending the leg and then pressing that right leg out. You have five more here. Get deep in that squat or that bent leg, the left leg. Two, one more, we're gonna hold it low. Arms behind the head, just twist the torso towards the foot bar, and back, keep that carriage still, isometrically working that left leg. Three, twist four, five, rotate six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, hold it towards the foot bar. You're gonna stand all the way up. As you press the carriage out, go back towards the straight line with the head, pull the carriage in, and then twist to the foot bar. Bend and then rotate. Try to keep those arms behind the head. Use that torso to twist. Exhale, lift and twist. We have five more here. Last two. And last one, put all the way in. Okay, carefully step on off. We're gonna go into a little pigeon stretch. So again, if your box is too high, you can take it off. I'm gonna take my left foot and bring it out to the side. So my knee's out to the side, my ankle is rolled. I'm gonna bring that foot forward a little bit. And then you can bring that foot back a little bit closer to you. You can either keep the hands up high or lean that chest forward. Breathe into that stretch. My right foot is on the floor, straight back behind me. You should feel a stretch in that left glute. If you don't like doing pigeon stretch or it bothers your knee, sit on the side of the reformer and cross the left leg over and just do like a figure four stretch, just sitting on the edge, cross that leg, or you can lay on your back and do a figure four stretch. Just take a few breaths here. Let the head relax. I'm gonna roll on up, but keep that left foot on, and I'm gonna face sideways. So my left foot is on the box, or it could be on the reformer. Face sideways, and you're gonna put your left foot, or left hand on the box, and reach that right arm up and over the side. You can, should feel stretched down the right side of the body. Now I'm just gonna hold forward a little bit more towards that left foot. Should do a little stretch in the inner thigh as well as that left hamstring. Come back up and then out. Let's switch legs. We're gonna start with that pigeon stretch. So bring the right foot on top of the box, bend that knee, hands go forward. You can either stay up or slightly Go down to your forearms, relax the head, feel a stretch in that right glute. Take a few more breaths here, getting a little deeper in that stretch. And then release. We're gonna straighten or face the back way. Right foot is on the box, facing sideways. Your right hand is on the box, reach the left arm up and over. Feel a stretch on the left side of the body. Now rotate the torso slightly and reach down towards that right foot. 
feel the stretch in the inner right thigh as well as that right hamstring. And let's roll on the way up. I'm gonna put my box on the floor. And we're just gonna go into some leg circles, opening up the hips, everyone's favorite. So hang up your straps, we're gonna bring my headrest all the way up. I'm gonna put a red and a blue spring on. Bring your foot bar all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna lay down on our back. Grab the straps with both hands, press the carriage out, one foot in and other foot. Keep the legs up to the ceiling. We're gonna circle the legs out and around. So stabilize the hips and pelvis, bring the legs all the way back to center. Circle, squeeze those inner thighs. Keep those abs tight. Try to let it flow with the circle. Only lift the legs up as high as you can without lifting that tailbone off the mat. And only go as low as you can without arching the back, so make sure those abs are engaged. Do four more in this direction. The last two. And reverse directions with that circle. Open the legs out, stabilize the hips and pelvis, bring the legs all the way back together, and then lower down. One. Keep the legs straight together, just lift up and then down. Slow as you come up, press that back down into the reformer. Keep those legs squeezed together. Five more here. One more, press it down. I'm gonna lift or put my headrest all the way down in flat position. If you have neck problems, do not do this. We're gonna do short spine. So if you have neck problems, again, don't do this. Or if you feel uncomfortable, just continue to do a few more leg circles. So we're gonna inhale, keep the legs here. Exhale, lift the legs up and over. Make sure the reformer hits the stopper and then press the hips up a little bit higher if you can. And then exhale, go to a frog position, heels together, toes apart, bend the knees towards your forehead. And slowly keep those heels together, keep this bend, roll down the spine, one vertebra at a time, roll, 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 roll. Exhale, press all the way up. It's a super deep stretch in your spine, so do what feels comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, lift the legs up and over the head, let it hit the stopper. Lift those hips up a little bit higher. Little frog, bend those knees out to the side, towards the forehead, and then slowly roll. One vertebra at a time. Roll, roll, roll. Keep those heels close to your bottom and exhale, press out. We'll do one more here. Inhale. Exhale, use those abs, lift up. Let it hit the stopper, and then lift the hips a little bit higher. Bend those knees towards your forehead. And then slowly roll. Try to get those heels close to your bottom as you roll down. And press all the way out. We're just gonna go into a little straddle stretch. Inner thighs feel a little tight. 
press down on the ropes. Take a few breaths here. Just go a little back side to side. Don't do too much. Take two more breaths here. Deep inhale and then exhale. Bring those legs back to center. We'll kick one foot out. Then we'll flip our other foot. Just bring those knees into your chest. Little rock side to side. Just draw a little circle with those knees. Massage out that back. And then let's roll on up. And we are all done, guys. I hope you had a great workout. I know it was a little bit more strength than I think I thought it was going to be. But I hope you had a great workout. And I will see you guys next time.